High Court Lashes Magistrate Lazini Nube as Mary Mubaiwa Free Decision to Jail Vice President's Estranged Wife for Purposes of Mental Exam Capricious and Arbitrary, Say Judges. Harare, the High Court on Monday ordered the release from 10-day custody of Vice President Constantino Kiwenga's estranged wife, Mary Mubaiwa, who was detained by a magistrate for the purposes of undergoing a mental examination. Mubaiwa is facing a string of trials on separate charges, but her lawyer said she is no physical or mental state to sit through the trials. The National Prosecuting Authority contests this and last week filed an application before Magistrate Lazini Nube for her detention for 10 days so that she can be assessed by two state doctors. On appeal, two high court judges on Monday ordered her immediate release after making highly critical remarks of Nube, said Mubaiwa's lawyer Doug Coltart, Justices Benjamin Chikoero and Pisarai Quenta handed down an extempore ruling immediately after the hearing. They called the magistrate's ruling capricious and arbitrary and said he had gone on a frolic of his own. They said it was completely unjustified that she was detained when she was already out on bail and ordered her release from custody. Mubaiwa and her lawyers accused Kiwanga of interfering with legal processes to keep her behind bars. Medical reports submitted in court have detailed the true extent of Mubaiwa's medical troubles after she was diagnosed with acute lymphedema. She is currently recovering from a skin graft on the right forearm conducted in September. Dr. Fungisai Makom Simone Mazandu, a specialist psychiatrist, submitted a report to the lower court last week stating, upon examination, Mary Mubaiwa had difficulty concentrating and a low, anxious mood. She had insomnia, reduced appetite and energy, and symptoms of anxiety attacks. It is my opinion that she has a mental disorder, major depressive disorder with comorbid anxiety disorder. She is not currently able to stand trial. The prosecution is hotly contesting her diagnosis and is seeking the opinions of two state doctors as it seeks to push on with her trials for fraud, false representation, assault, money laundering and the alleged attempted murder of Kiwenga in 2019. Mubaiwa says the charges were trumped up by Kiwenga in a bid to keep her away from their three children together, whom she has not seen in two years. Last week she said that she is being let down by a Mnangawa appeal to all women to help Het see her children. The strange wife of Vice President Constantino Kiwanga, Mary said her issue with her husband is no longer a private or family issue but a public one as she feels that the country's second in command is untouchable. Mary said she has appealed to President Emerson of Mnangawa to intervene and assist her to see her children, but this has brought to tangle result. In turn, she has now appealed to the United Nations and local women to assist her as she feels they are letting her down by not fighting in her corner. Today being the 15th day of November brings me so much heartache and pain as my son's birthday who has turned nine, I have been denied total access to them, I have been cut out of their lives completely, for more than two years L don't exist, my husband has used his political muscle, Mary posted on her Twitter handle. Is there hope for women in this country? Is there equal representation? is their gender equality. I am being punished for crimes that do not exist in my lifetime. Punish me once you have all your eggs in one basket, you say you want to make me an example that women are subject and should never be allowed to lead in any fora. How can you shut me out of my children's life like I never existed? What do you tell them? She added, I have been to hell and back, I am broken by all of this, I am not saying I want you back, no, I am saying give me my children, I thought that one day Amai would say rise up and fight in my corner, guilty or not, to rise up against verbal abuse, emotional abuse and dictatorship. Mary even questioned if a minister that represents women's affairs exists. Does the minister of women exist, she asked. There lies a man who once held the constitution in his hands, declaring war against oppression and dictatorship, a man that is feared by all including his boss. Countless times he has said that he is above everyone and he is the one that determines the direction which the wind must blow. Women are set on women to destroy one another, let us debate this, my husband has been allowed the platform to do whatever the hell he pleases and has not been reprimanded for this cowardly act, Bumbiro Remute Moharishand. I am begging all women in this universe to please help me to access my children, my children, I am dying inside, I am empty, two years is not a joke without having a sight of my children, my children are below 10 remember today it's me, tomorrow it's you. Kiwenga added, the likes of Mamwe Madzamai that speak negatively about me, 
Stay away from my issues. You probably don't have children and feel pity for yourself. I am asking for your help to get access to my children and feel. I have asked the president, Amnangawa, many times to assist, but nothing has materialized. This is no longer a private or family issues, but a public one, as we must also ask UNICEF, UN, UNHR to intervene as I am powerless. I really miss my children and I am broken.